the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. Every month, we are going to have a look at the latest and best games for your smartphones and tablets. We focus on apps that truly deliver a quality gaming experience, but we won't leave out the short on-the-go gaming experiences either. Now, let's have a look at 10 captivating and intriguing apps that were released this month. BitCity is a city-building and clicker game made by Nimblebit. This is the team that brought you the excellent Tiny Tower. The minimalist look of the game is outstanding and the soundtrack is stunning. BitCity doesn't reinvent the city-building genre though, it's very much what you would expect of such a game. This means you will be clicking to earn money, to buy more stuff and do more clicking. It's predictable but satisfying at the same time. But its style is simply too well-crafted not to mention it in this list. After multiple releases on PC and consoles, The Escapist is finally available on smartphones and tablets. This is a strategic adventure game where you need to outwit the guards and escape prison. It's all about creating diversions, setting up escape routes and a lot more, all without getting caught. You can earn money by having a prison job or doing tasks for other prisoners. Earn money, obtain items, and avoid being caught by the guards. The Escapist is a difficult game and will surely take you lots of time to complete. Bandits are coming. I can't summon you here, but I have something better. Almost a Hero is an RPG clicker game. This role-playing game is all about a couple of losers who are trying to become a hero by going on an epic adventure. You have collected some gold. You can upgrade your ring with more... Excellent! Let us return to the battle. Close Battles take place in real time here. as you click to charge your magical powers. Each of the heroes will level up and unlock new powers, or they will die trying. These active battles, the upgrading system, and the nice art style are some of the most interesting aspects of this game. This is not the deepest game available on the App Store, but it does offer some stylish fun a few minutes at a time. Golf Zero is quite a minimalistic design, but it's the gameplay that intrigued us the most. This app is swamped with ads, but with a $2 purchase, you can remove them. Golf Zero mixes golf with some hardcore platforming. It's a weird combination that surprisingly works out quite well. You need to do wall jumps and avoid spikes while you're trying to get into the perfect position to shoot your ball into the hole. Think of Golf Zero as a sort of reinvented Super Meat Boy meets golf. This can be immensely frustrating at times, but it's also one of those games that feels very pleasing when you finally succeed. Any game that's about space cats has our immediate attention. Katomic essentially is a match 3 puzzle game. You need to combine 3 of the same to create a new cat character. Each step takes the cats closer to their mission to conquer space. But obviously, this is not a game about a story. It's just a ridiculously cute-looking match-3 puzzle game that's nice to play on the go or when you're taking a break from your colleagues. Yes, we actually mean this is a good game to play when you're taking an extensive break from your daily life by sitting on the toilet. The Big Journey is an awesome adventure game. It reminds us a bit of Loco Roco as you will be tilting the screen to make the cat move around. You need to collect food as you roll and jump through the levels.
The Big Journey looks really good. It's a charming game and requires some precise platforming to collect all the items in the levels. It's really a game for gamers who like to collect items and obtain high scores. Perhaps this is one of the better LocoRoco clones available on iOS. Games on our smartphones are not always about stylish graphics. Type Shift is one of those games that shows that good gameplay doesn't require HD graphics. In this puzzle game, you need to make anagrams with the set amount of letters the game is offering you. Every puzzle requires you to find three to five words in a single anagram. You need to shift the columns to create new words and type shift can get quite difficult pretty quickly. This could be the new word feud for gamers who love word puzzles. Uh, was that there before? Oxenfree was a major hit on Steam last year and has now made the jump to iOS. This supernatural thriller is about a group of friends who accidentally summon ghosts. How the story develops is all based on your conversations and your actions in the game. Your conversation choices are made by selecting a speech bubble. Jonas, where are you? That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. You need to explore the haunted island, solving puzzles by finding the right frequency on your handheld radio. Based on your actions, Oxenfree has multiple endings. It was really one of the most surprising indie games of last year, so it's worth it to check out. It's a little creepy, but I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. Mole Mash Tabagag... We're not even going to pronounce the name of this game, so let's just call it Mole Mash. Mole Mash is a thumb-twisting and frantic 2D action game. It looks amazing and truly offers a challenge. It's quite easy in the beginning, but the difficulty ramps up. See this game as Pong meets Breakout, but it all takes place in the ocean. On top of killing the enemies and fighting bosses, Mole Mash has a great soundtrack. We think this game is worth the money. The last game on this list is Ghosts and Goblins Mobile. This is of course a remake of the original Ghosts and Goblins. It's a legendary side-scrolling adventure where you play Sir Arthur fighting, well, ghosts and goblins. This is one of the most challenging platforming games ever. Capcom has provided a casual mode that's more suitable for general mobile gamers. If you want a challenge, however, there's the classic mode that's made using the original rules of the game. However, touchscreen controls are not the easiest for platforming games. Ghosts and Goblins suffers from these problems, but if you have never ever played this game, it might be worth to give it a try. What are the mobile games you've been playing this month? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that notification bell on our channel page. That way, you will always get notified when we upload new videos. See you next time here at Zoom and Games. Didn't you hear ah, me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, 
obviously there isn't. 